His family had arranged for him to see a doctor. The doctor had prescribed some medicines. It's 1820, so who knows what medicine meant. But they were giving this to him every day. And then on December 19th, 1820, John Bell Sr. did not awake at his usual time. Now, earlier in the morning, his wife, leaning over and seeing that he was still asleep, had gotten up to go and oversee the making of breakfast. But when he still wasn't up several hours later, his sons became concerned. They went to check on him and found him unresponsive, at which point John Jr. tried to go to the medicine cabinet to get whatever they had been giving his father. But instead of his father's medicine, John Jr. opened the cupboard to find a smoky-looking vial about one-third full of a dark liquid. And when he asked around, everyone denied knowledge of where the medicine had gone and where this liquid had come from. They sent for a Dr. George Hopson, who lived in Port Royal, about three or four miles southwest, 